Welcome to another Field of Glory 2 battle. This match against Carpen Cam at Armenia vs. Atrapatine. This is part of the Dividing the Spoils campaign. So in this battle, I'm attacking from Armenia into Atrapatine. So 8 to 11. Uh, basically, if I win, I take his province. If I lose, he takes my province. If we draw, nothing happens. Pretty simple. So, I went with a fairly light force, which is kind of a risk, but there's a chance Carpen will just kind of chill and defend this high and rough and enclosed ground. If he does, I will want all these skirmishers that I've bought up on. So, light javelin men, slingers, eastern archers, light javelin horse, and light horse archers. One unit of massed archers. I've maxed out on my phalanxes. I've got three out of four available citizen hoplites and trios for rough work. Pretty light on the mounted arm, one of the protomoi to help with the flanks. Our starting unit of cataphracts and vistophoroi, one on the left, two on the right. So if he moves to attack me here on the right, I'm pretty thinly manned, I'll need to shift over. If he camps, then I'll have time to deploy as needed. The armies in this case are fairly similar. Uh, nothing stands out as extremely different. If you want, you can get a giant mass of your regular foot, but I don't know why he would. All right, let's see that force comp and deployment. Artillery, hills, skirmishers, I wonder if he's playing for the draw. It's possible, but we're well equipped with lights, which means we might be able to go for the win anyway. Maybe he just has his lights. Somewhere different. You shift over to face them so we're not completely bereft of missile power here. Slow march forward. Don't really want to fight uphill in the shadow of artillery, so if I draw this match and win the other one, that should count, right? Wait, no. That's the other match. Huh, he's just playing for a draw and I have to try to win. Or draw and then nothing happens, which isn't the end of the world. We'll see. Oh, let us not forget these guys. And we'll threaten to try to get behind and then he'll cut me off, etc, etc. Next turn. But we need to keep our lights near our lancers, but as long as we do that, we should be able to gradually win the skirmish on the right. Wait there and start getting everyone in position. I 
I don't know if we're going to get anywhere with this. Next turn. Continue our slow and steady move up the lights. Do I bother with the heavies? Oh, well, move up a little further. Mirror the movements of his lights. Need to take our time. Next turn. I want to get my light infantry into those enclosures, actually. Get out of the way, get these hot plays to support the wing. Keep the phalanx in the center. Keep these master archers here. Yeah, we need someone to shield the heavies. Next turn. Get you forward a bit and continue to shift over to those enclosures. No need to push there, we'll just ignore that entirely. Next turn. Okay, we've gained the enclosure. Good, and the Thurio Froy can keep moving forward. Next turn they can move here. Then they can drive out whatever lights he puts in that rock. What I might do now is just start shifting the whole army over so we can assault kind of down this way. It's still not great given the slope and rough, but at least it avoids all this, I don't know. Maybe that's unwise. Still like that gap.
Well, we can take it slowly. Next turn, did we get much movement or is he going to just wait for me? Eh, he's going to try to match the movement of my foot. Too bad. Okay, we have to plug that gap at least a little bit. You can start joining the movement to the right. Anyone home? Nope. Next turn. Keep shifting over. Yeah, screw it. It's not even per time. We're going to stay on this side. Unfortunately, four skirmishers, three light horse, and masked archers is more than four skirmishers and two light horse can handle in terms of a missile discrepancy. So we need to back off a bit while we wait for our friends to arrive. Okay, next turn. And what? Do we wait? Eh. That 
Next turn. What if we could maneuver medium foot up here? I don't know, it's a thought. Pop these out to distract him or hold them back so he gets suckered in a bit. Let's hold them back here. Not much to do yet. Keep moving those hoplites. Next turn. Taking some pot shots. for now. Might lose the skirmishing, but would not be the end of the world. Can only get close fire on the one unit. Okay. In the meantime, these light javelin men can emerge. These four lights could try to gain control over this area. Keep up the push. Okay. And I need to decide what to do. Well, I can wait a little bit longer. You over. And Duryofroy over. The phalanx can remain close by. So once these archers arrive, we can start engaging in archery. 12 turns left, I don't think we're going to get anywhere, to be honest. We'll try. Spread out a little bit. There. Next turn. Ah, he's got his own surprise reserves. Push to see some ground here. Now that we've got the hoplites, and maybe you Let's give these a little shove. Wow, that was almost very amusing. Get in that rough ground.
Nice. Push up. Straighten out. Get uphill. Maybe that's fine. This is not ideal. May have advanced a little recklessly here. Maybe we'll need to peel these pikemen back, but if he comes down, we might be able to wrap around. Right. Shift down. We need to help skirmishing on that wing. You know what? Ignore the missiles. Just accept that we'll get shot up and instead do that. Shift over. Eleven turns remaining. Next turn, let's see if you can force a battle on my vulnerable left. Five pike units. I have six here, but he's got more supports. Alright, yeah, that's a dangerous part. Huh, lucked out. If he doesn't zone me, I could force a drop to frags there. Which I will do. Right, so you turn about, wheel, 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 and beyond that we're going to have to think a bit more. Interesting. Impact, then we can risk getting run down so that we can force this drop. Break. Not bad. Still leaves our left hanging a little precariously open, but we could square up its entire forces. Pike men, and that wouldn't be too impossible. See if they evade. They do, because the hoplites are nearby. And that means we can get a catch with the Protomoi. If they drop from the shock, they might frag. Yeah, which then means we could cause a break. Excuse you. Good. Uh, 
too bad about those routers getting in my way though. Occupy the high ground. Prepare to shoot it out with those archers. You cover this disrupted unit from a charge. Bounce back. Oh, oh very nice. In the meantime, sure, harass those pikemen a bit, take the hill, maybe we can try to reinforce. Uh, probably shouldn't have done that, we're in close close range of the Artie now, but it is what it is. Your you would be more helpful there. Okay. What do we got here? Not much. Shift over, shift over, and keep pursuing his aggressive right wing. Well, I think we've at least set it up so we won't lose, and even a draw would be fine. Next turn. Well, that's very awkward. Oh, shit. Okay, well, couldn't last forever. Okay, well, why don't we, for starters, get in there. Now, on the one hand, if we charge here, we might get into a dangerous situation. Pushing them back uphill with all these troops around. But, on the other hand, fuck it. You know. Go for the freak general kill, seeing as you're dead anyway. Nope. Uh, shift over here then. Make some room. They hold firm. Let's get these veterans forward. You can plug that gap. Okay. Good 
Good fallback. What good would that do, really? Oh, yeah. Well, we can fight this. Typical. Keep shifting lights over. Move up and support. I really wish I could get my veteran pikemen into play, but it doesn't seem to be happening. Next turn. Well done. Alright, I'll clip that unit for cataphracts, maybe cost the speed of archers as well. Gonna see if I push him back again, in which case he'll flank. And anything I use to try to counter that, I'll get charged by the veteran pikes. Yeah. So it might be that I'll be lucky to run out of time with this. They straight into charge range. Nope. They don't. Okay, you run back. You can risk getting hit. Shove them off. <laughs> Good. Hover. You can either crush them, of course it would open up our flank, wouldn't it? That's okay, you can cover. They're gonna be behind soon, that's okay. Next turn we're gonna push them back, unless we can prevent that, which I don't think we really can. Let's see what we can do. It's fine. and see where we end up. Hit the calf. Oh. Well, that is not what was supposed to happen. I could actually pin these irregular foot if I wanted to sacrifice my light horse archers. Do I though? 
Not really. Sacrifice the three of Roy. Getting a little bit dangerous. Next turn. Make up a flag, but I don't think he'll be able to pull it off. Right, let's just uh, make sure the flag doesn't happen. It's fine. Scatter a bit. I have to come off his hill to exploit how thin my line is, but it is thin. Nobody in place to flank, so we should be good there. Uh, can't say that I approve. Could be worse, okay. That's weak in the phalanx. None of this is ideal. Seven turns remaining. Next turn. Uh, 
Not terrible. I mean, this is bad because we're zoned in by the Thurios. Can't really charge uphill against medium foot. In the rough, that is. Let's see, one, two, three, so by a fourth turn there's going to be cavalry behind us, so we really don't have time to screw around. Let's see. Damn. They're in the way, I really wanted to go for that disrupt. Question is, could I break these units before I got flanked? Don't think I could. Might need to start playing for a draw, which would mean. Damn, I just don't know what to do with this. I don't have enough units, but if I wait, I'll just get torn to shreds anyway. I think we start going for it. sort of thing was what I was worried about. Now I can either set up a flank on my veterans or roll the whole lot of them with the cavalry. This might have been a mistake, we'll see. Although, maybe we can get that disrupt in. If it helps a little, that means he's kind of on a timer to get them into action. It's actually not terrible due to this being not open terrain. Let's see, I think we can use the light horse more on the left. Low on ammo, can they do anything? Not really. Start shifting towards terrain then. Go for the grind. Could even throw the archers in if they suffer enough combat strength modifier. Should 
Shift over. No, damn it. Prepare to shift over. Prepare to shift over. Very dangerous on the left. Next turn. That sort of thing is going to be a problem. We need to stop that from happening anymore. Good, good. That gives us some wiggle room should things go badly on the left. Okay. That was uh, not great. What the hell is your commander? Ah. Uh, Good start. We can get a charge off there, which is interesting. I do that now. If I go here first, I can still do it. They hold firm. Hmm. We need to join in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're probably going to push him back, and then he's going to flank us with the irregulars, and then we just have to hope for best. At least the cavalry can't roll us, so I think now we just commit and accept that one of our units at least is going to get flanked, and that just is what it is. Good. That drop could help us. Okay. Uh, keep that light horse off of us. Right, prepare to join the fun. Let's remove the square formation. Ugh. If they drop from this break, we might have a chance to get out of this situation. Otherwise, kind of trapped. Similar sort of deal here. Could do that, but it would be horrible. We get killed. I think we have to sit and wait.
Next turn. That is unfortunate. Hmm. Then we get dropped, right? No? Why is he waiting? Keep the suspense going, I guess. There it is. Do we hold it fragged? We do. That's good. That means we could actually break both units. So, good thing I had the veterans on the end of the line. A break? Any disruptions? No. That's a problem. <laughs> Okay, charging downhill. Force a break there. Good. Ah, away. That's eh, just about to get dangerous. Do keep them pinned in. Maybe they'll evade out of the way. That's uh oh, that's not really fine, actually. Oh, it doesn't matter, that unit's dead anyway. Okay, problem solved. Good. Uh, it's fine, let's not worry about it. How about a break? Hold firm. All right, smash in. It's not ideal, but it does mean we get combat strike modifier to assist the hoplites. So we may be able to grind them down before the Zistofodoi slam into the mass archers. Great. And in the meantime, we'll have a light javelin horse and Light horse archers both ready to charge this armored cavalry. Ideally. No, we're not doing that. We turn here. You could just zone me in, huh? It's okay, we're gonna live with that. Ugh. Can I cover? Not without sacrificing Thurio Freud, but I think at this point I have to accept that that's gonna happen. Good. Damn it. Well, we're holding though. That unit's probably about to get slaughtered. Oh, lucky them. Well, things are coming to a head. Do I bother charging in, or is that dangerous with this cavalry approaching? 
Screw it. Everybody in. <laughs> okay, we're about to suffer next turn, but that's okay. Go hide in the forest. Four turns remaining. Alright, Carbon says two pikes fragged and yet the medium spear lasts for turns unbelievable. So I guessing these pikes both frag and Thurios hold out. <laughs> That's pretty unusual. It's kind of awkward. <laughs> okay. A break. Pursuit charge. Bounce, that's good. Push these off map. Good. Ready there, maybe? Uh, whatever. Gage. Next turn then. Starting to even out because of combat strength, so that even our archers can take him down. Shuffle over. Still can't move. Still can't do that. I could do a. No, it wouldn't really be worth it. He could charge me in the flank no matter what. <clears throat> well, too bad. Turn then. Good, we hold out there. Everybody holds firm. Again, they hold firm. Do I want Commander on you to rally? Hmm. Do I have a way? No. You move here. No. If you move here, you can still charge. If you move here, you cannot block them in. <clears throat> well, here. Try anyway. Good. And you'll push them away. Get ready to try again, actually. Ah, that's fine. That's fine. Good. Harass. Nice. Break them. Should rally up then. <clears throat> an auto break? Oh, did we just do it? I had just done it. With very little time to spare. How are they? They're quite low. Hold. Good. You as well. Good. Well, who does he have that could rally? Irregular foot. 
armored cavalry archers. Okay, there are units, and he would only need to rally a single unit to come back. If he does rally, then what? Well, he'll probably break these two units, probably within the three turns. And hopefully one of these units, but they are both still steady, and we are really short on time. So, we'll see. And we got that well played. So, no relevant rallies. I'm pretty pleased to have pulled that off. Uh, hmm. I suppose he didn't charge here because it would expose a flank if he didn't immediately push me back. But I honestly think he'd have been fine taking the risk. He probably would have crushed my Thurios on impact and pushed back immediately. And if he hadn't, well, a risk, yeah, but veteran pikes uphill, they probably would have held firm and disrupted and then recovered. Biggest risk I took in this battle was attacking with this unit on the far left, knowing it would get flanked, and it did, but veterans, irregular foot, even against disrupted veterans, they're just not, not going to cut it. The risk, of course, was that they would have just shattered immediately and you kept rolling down the line. Luckily, there wasn't time for that. So the advantage of his larger, cheaper infantry force was that he could threaten flanks like that. The disadvantage was that he had some squishy units in there. Although, oddly enough, these Turioforoi held on where the Falangites nearby were fleeing. So, some RNGs is there. So... What does that mean for the strategic situation? So that ought to mean that I seize Atropatane. I believe I also seize Mesopotamia because I've beaten off the combined offensive of Carbon and Dieter into Syria. So I believe I seize these two, which brings me to seven satrapies. If I have nine, and at least twice as many as anyone else, then the tournament ends and I win. Otherwise, uh, it'll go on until everyone's commander-in-chief has fallen once, which I believe of the six players remaining, only three have fallen. So, good game to Carpen. Till next time.